Hello, Cobrats, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. This is another sped up post commentated episode. And in this episode, slight spoilers, we are going to be taking on the last two Kanto gyms, so that's very good. So it's only nine minutes long, and kind of pretty much just going around collecting items. And this right here, we'll get the Silver Wing, the Rainbow Wing Goddess Ho Oh. So, hmm, what will the Silver Wing get us? I don't know. So, yeah, Pewter City. Here's the Pewter M Museum of Science. You can extract Pokemon from fossils here. You can also meet Steven Stone if you have that uh, Enigma Stone event I was talking about. So now we're going into Brock's gym, and I should probably kind of uh, turn down my volume, not on the video, but on my headphones. I'll edit accordingly, and also uh, it's going to be kind of hard to edit out the audio because I have turtle beaches and they pick up my PC audio, probably because the USB is hooked in right into my laptop. So now we're fighting Brock, and he, he has a good five Pokemon on him. Not really too hard of a battle, especially if you got a, an attack like Wood Hammer. Quite weak, and it's pretty freaking powerful anyway. So yeah, Uncle Tree's gonna do a good deal of his team in. Yeah. So there's two Pokemon now. I'm mainly keeping him out because uh, he was my lowest level at the time. Uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of post commentated episodes. I've recorded... Episode 34 last night, and I attempted what would have been episode 35, like where I explored the battle frontier. But I'm trying to figure something out about that, like, like, kind of showing them off. But yeah, battle frontier is kind of complicated, and it's not really needed to do. It's just uh, it takes a while to do the battle frontier, and you can get battle points. And I want to mainly get um, slice and dice to learn bug bite because of the technician. It'll be a little bit more powerful than next scissor. But anyway, I'm kind of off topic. We are finishing off Brock with Alakazam, Alakadabra at that, and Alakadabra's pretty freaking powerful. In a minute I'm going to pick up a, uh, Wise Glasses for Alakadabra. Pokemon powerful, and get stuff, and get the Boulder Badge, and he's going to give you the TM for Rock Slide, I believe. Yep, <laughs> barely saw it for like a split second, because so much speed, because I'm just trying to show everything. Hopefully everything's not really too hard to follow along with. So yeah, get the Wise Glasses and PP up. Now we're going on Route 3. The reason I got the Wise Glasses for Alakazam is because the Twisted Spoon was only for Psychic-type moves, but Wise Glasses will power up any special attacks, so it's good for both Psychic and Shadow Ball. So over here we've got uh, these Meteors, which if you have a Deoxys can change its form, and there's also a couple hidden star pieces there. And it's a cool couple. That couple's so cool. Zack and Jin. And we got all these guys. Got the Shorts Kid way back there, and that is whoever. And this is like Warren and Jimmy. Has been rustled. Otis the fire breather. And. <laughs> I like how quickly I'm going through this. Manford and Sons. Something smells weird. I don't know. So many battles. Sheesh. Peace, huh? You wouldn't go to the mountains and. There's peace. She's so fast. It's going to get even faster in a minute because. Once we go into Mount Moon, after getting a hyper potion, we go in and see what faster and. Your rival's here and gonna battle him again. This is probably gonna be. A lot of the video. Uh, it's probably gonna be like a minute and a half. Yeah, it's like almost four times speed. But the speed up's weird in Sony Vegas. You gotta like speed up both the video and the audio. Well, if it's not conjoined together like I mine is because I have separate video and audio files. If I was recording with my PVR, it would be on one kind of they they'd be conjoined together. But the way I record 3DS videos, the audio and video is not conjoined. So once we beat our rival, he's gonna be like, I'm gonna go train at the Dragon Den, and he was actually being pretty smart with his Alakazam right here. I don't know why, I, I could have just used the Wood Hammer, that's what I was planning to do, but of course he sent out Magneton right then. And I was thinking about using the Forward Store, but definitely since I was at that HP and everything was bad for me, I was like, oh, I'll definitely use it here and then finish him off with whatever attack I do use. I think I use Strength? I don't know. Doesn't even matter to me. Oh wait, <laughs> Uncle Tree faints. <laughs> 430. It's 112 p.m. Uh, I don't know. So he has one more Pokemon, Gengar. But his Golbat still hasn't evolved in the Crobat, so he hasn't quite earned the trust of Pokemon. So yeah, once we beat him, as I said, he's gonna go train at the Dragon's Den, and it's kind of hinting to a little something, which I will show off probably in episode 30. Or maybe 35, I don't know. 
Episode 34 is like a big item collection video, and there's about four, not really a lot of stuff here. Like a few trainers and a couple items. And also, uh, at Mount, Mount Moon, there's the Mount Moon Square on Monday nights. You can see Clefairy there, and you can get a Moonstone, like Clefairy to a dance and stuff. There's also a hidden Max Revive, I believe. We're about to go into it right now. Just kind of speaking ahead of time, just so I can get my thoughts straight. That house right there is a shop for weird items like polka dolls. Not really much worth it. Mount Moon isn't even as big as lit earlier games. Yeah, later games are me. And it's even a later time in the canon. So yeah, we just talked to Blue, make him go back to his gym. So now we're into his gym, hey. And this gym's kind of like uh, when Giovanni was running it. It's a bunch of sliding stuff. And basically, yeah, uh, you could basically go backwards. Like, look at the little tile things that look like they would be holes, and then kind of go backwards, and then, yeah, go forwards from that. So, those are the only two trainers I fought because <laughs> it's such a confusing place. Could have been a double battle, I believe, because it's, uh, like a cool couple of these. <laughs> it's all cool trainers in here. Just kind of thinking about it for a second. It's like, hmm, what to do, what to do. It's like, okay, I'll go here, then, uh, how about, uh, I, I go here? No, it's just gonna be back here, but I'm just gonna go right there, and it's gonna take me over the blue. And now it's probably going to speed up even more. Okay, I think it's already on the faster speed. So I can finish the video a little bit earlier. So here's Leader Blue, and it's going really insanely fast. Oh, good ever. Blah, blah, blah. Shadow Ball. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'd even speed it up a little bit more. <laughs> but yeah. He has pretty much the same team as he would have in earlier games, just was slightly different. He wouldn't have a starter Pokemon, instead he'd have that Ma Champ. And he would have pretty much all the Pokemon, like Executor, Gyarados, and Arcanine. <laughs> They're all annoying. I pretty much have my whole team based around this battle, even though I didn't really plan it to be that way. Like, Slice and Dice for Executor, even though I'm pretty much going through the majority of this battle with Alcadabra. Pretty much have a super effective attack for every single one of these Pokemon. And Harkonnen's an annoying Pokemon. I was wanting to finish it off with Uncle Tree, but it didn't have enough HP, so it used Dragon Pulse on me. And then I decided to send out Charlie, then make things a little earthquakey. It didn't really go too well. Like I just wanted to have Charlie out just to have like a fire and fire battle just for the hell of it. And it wasn't really the best idea for me because my earthquake brought it down to half, but then it used Flare Blitz on me and got critical, which it brought it to full restore range, and then he uses the full restore, and then I'm going to use this quick again, but he's going to be smart, and he's going to go for extreme speed on me, and it's all sadness, but oh well, it's good game, and stuff, so yeah, Dim Shack, Surf, yeah, I'm thinking about speeding up a little bit and doing my outro with Tiny Bear early, so yeah, uh, Gyarados, second to last Pokemon, let's send it out. Intimidate will do anything because after charging, probably would have taken it out anyway, even if it was a physical attack. Yeah, so powerful. And this final Pokemon is Pidgeot. Um, as well, go ahead and start doing my outro a little bit. Once we beat this, we're going to get the Earth Badge, and it's going to allow us to use the HM Rock Climb. That Citrus Bear was annoying. <laughs> Sorry if I'm kind of being late. Of course, I'm probably going to speed up. But yeah, um, stuff. Hurry. I'm just kind of waiting for it to happen. We're like, why are you post commentating this? My post commentated videos are always weird because I'm listening to the audio and it's always insane and yeah, about the Turtle Beach audio kind of thing. So yeah, there's that battle. So now for the outro, we, we have defeated Leader Blue. We're gonna get his badge. We have all 16 badges, and in the next episode, we're going to go to Professor Oak and do a huge item collection thing with Rock Climb. So until next time, do not toast yourself.